At this time, we'd like to have the representative for Billy Scott's family. It was an honor. It meant, it meant so much to me because I know that's what he wanted so bad. And I was, I was so proud to put on that cap and gown and represent him because that's me. It wasn't supposed to be Billy Scott Sr. in the cap and gown, but the father of little Bill knew how hard his son, Billy Jr., worked to get here. Robbed of the moment after he was shot and died the night before. He always told me he wanted, he gonna get to a point to where he can take care of his dad. His dad don't have to work no more. And he strove for that. He played a flute. He sang, he grabbed. Scott's family sat together Friday in shirts with his graduation photo printed on them. It's not how they wanted to celebrate the milestone, but say his plans to graduate and go on to trade school weren't done in vain. And it really, it hurted me, but I knew I had to do that for him. I had to do it for him. He had an ear for music and a sense of humor a defensive back for Grant Union's championship winning team this last season. His family believes his death was random. He was a family man. That was my son and I loved him so much, you so love, much. Now once investigators figure out where this happened, they believe that more info will fall into place about who's responsible. The family says Scott was all about love and calls on whoever did this to come forward. Tonight they're having a vigil in the North Highlands there for him. Yeah, hopefully he will reach out and give them that information they're looking for. Thanks so much, Madison.